so I wanted to film this elevator. This is some interesting things about it. It's a little two stop hydraulic elevator and it was supposedly modernized in the mid 2000s. What was strange to me about this was after learning that the first time I opened the controller and I looked at it and I see this I think well this doesn't look like a mid 2000s motion control this looks like something from the early 90s maybe and uh, yeah you can see the this is an old computer but I come over here and I, I notice um, this here so you got a tag from motion control and it says 1109-2004 so I think okay well maybe it is a 2004 I mean I haven't seen one of the mid 2000s motion controls I see like anything like this but okay but I start noticing some other weird things about it and this was I don't really gave it away. I'll show you. Um, let me see right here. The original tag. 1994. So this is a controller from the 1990s. Well, how did a 1994 controller get used in a modernization in 2004? Well, I start noticing a lot of other weird things about the controller. You can see some studs right there. There's two of them. There's two more back there. There used to be another board there, but it's not there anymore. Come up here. Another missing board. Another missing board. There's three boards that are missing. Another thing that's weird. A couple relays are missing, I noticed. I noticed these are for rear doors. DOR and DCR are the relays for rear doors, but this car does not have rear doors. It only has front doors. That's the main two. And I start noticing, you can kind of see the rat's nest of wires here. This is not stuff from the factory. A factory wire looks like this. That's a factory wire. It was definitely not factory wire. Also, these relays should be mounted into something. They should have a base. These are these are just glued. They glued these onto the wall of the controller. And you can see where they wrote O, C, some letters I can't read. <laughs> so someone has added in these relays to try and make this work. There's another one down here. Clearly this controller was not made for this job. This is something else. As if the dates did not get away. And I've noticed that this O and this C are what's operating my doors. And these are what's adjusting my doors. None of this stuff is in the print. None of it. None of this. There's been no addendum made to the print to tell you what any of this is. So I have no way of knowing without just starting to trace out these wires to figure all out what the hell any of this stuff is. Here's another telltale sign. My starter. This motor only has three wires. So this was required. Uh, this was wired for across the line here, but as you can see, that's not. We got another set of contacts here. My main line doesn't go over to it though. See the see the labels in the back, delta and the wye. This still has wires going to the coil and my little side contact, but that's it. Other than that, it's not being used anymore. But obviously, the controller was meant to have it. So, I'm looking at the prints, 
and I noticed that this uh, this elevator is in fact built for a five stop with front and rear doors. It's now operating a two stop with front doors only. Quite different. That's why they needed to remove the DOR and the DCR relays. There's no more rear doors operating on this car. Also, it has three less floors than it used to. It also had a basement floor and then a first floor. And the first floor was the home floor. And I've noticed that the elevator always returns to the second floor here. It's trying to return to what it thinks is one, but it's two now. So this elevator always sits at the top of the, at the, top of the hatch. <clears throat> so it seems like what happened here was um, the company that removed this elevator from where it originally came from decided to, well, when you'd remove a controller, you might keep it laying around and, you know, in case maybe you needed some spare parts for something else or to, to test with a known good board like these. But instead of just doing that, they decided to try and refurbish this a little bit, hack it up a little, and uh, make it work somewhere else and sell it as a modernization to another place. Because as far as the people here seem to know, they were sold a modernization. Uh, and what they got was a controller that was used and already 10 years old at the time. It was only a few years older, a few years newer rather than what it replaced. And unlike what it replaced, which would have at least had a legitimate print, this no longer has a print that's completely valid. Um, there's been a lot of changed stuff as I showed you. There are three boards that have just been removed completely from it and I have all these extra relays that have been added in and uh, yeah nothing on the print indicates anything's ever changed the print is still for the original elevator as existed as a five stop so very unfortunate and unfortunately the company that did this is no longer around they're out of business this was done you know over ten years ago now and those guys are all gone so it is what it is now anyways that's all thanks for watching